It feels like my voice has wings. My voice floated on easily, going as far as it could. Batching up with the band's melody, the sound of my voice reached everyone's ears. I can do this. I can do this. So, this is our national anthem. The princess's voice is wonderful no matter how many times I hear it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is good stuff. By the way, what's up with that paper? Ah, oh, a moment ago, Philip asked me to hand these out to everyone. This is a lyric sheet, I see. So that's what he's getting at. Ah. Matching up with the music, another voice joined me. It was a poser, Philip's lovely voice. I could recognize from afar, I noticed he had a small white sheet of paper in his hands. That made me notice that everyone else in the audience had the same paper too. Staring at the paper, following after Philip, other voices from the audience joined along with me. Well, everyone's voices are gathering into one. One of the groups came together like so many droplets, forming a single flowing river. We all formed a wonderful time together. We all shared a wonderful time together. Upon a closer look, I noticed the king next to someone, singing with a big grin. Well, hey, that's... I'd seen that person before. It was old man Zombie, the one who was always beside King Jun. The man who saw this country grow with the king. Oh, I'm so glad he's listening to this song, too. The past and history were just that. In the past, the song, the story we wove together, made our present, made our future, all the brighter. The song stopped. Silence enveloped the grounds. And then... Applause and cheers shook the shook the stage. Bravo! What a, what a song that was, Princess. You did it, Jandy. That song was fantastic. Uh, oh, my goodness! Right now, I feel on top of the world. Jandy, Philip. Philip ran up right in front of the stage. Philip! I found myself leaping off the stage, arms wide open. Whoa! Philip caught me in an embrace. Oh boy, I never know what my princess will do next. I had a slight color of distress. He had a slight color of distress on his face. Sorry, but I'm just so happy. Oh, I know. You're the son of Nibelheim, J.D., and today you fulfilled that role perfectly. With that, Philip smiled and gazed at me with pride. And so, our strange quest to make an anthem came to a close. Later that day, we were invited to the castle where the king requested that I sing the, sing the anthem over and over. And after that, it goes without saying that in the Book of Time, a new page had formed with Jandy and Philip's people, Jandy and Nephilim's people, singing the new anthem with all their hearts. However, her going to that page, a tale, for another time. Hmm. Can we have that story? <laughs> uh, and I'll be right back with the events of what happens when we choose the other choice. So hold your horses. I will be right there. And I have returned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The princess has to. The princess can choose if the anth the princess can choose rather the anthem can be something the king's like the king likes or if it can be something everyone can sing as we saw in the last ending. I'm actually curious at how different the ending will turn out if we were to choose the top option. Well, let's see. Something the king likes. Something the king likes. Why? Come on, I was asking for your opinion. But 
when you uh, when you think of Nibelheim, don't you think of the king? I'm sure everyone thinks the same way. Point. So you want to sing a song that makes you think of the king, right? I I guess. JD, you want to think of someone else as you sing. Hmm. Don't know what to say about that. A little complicated. Philip. Oh, just kidding. Did I have you go in there? Oh, you're such a kidder. Truth be told, I just want to, I just want you to sing for me with that lovely voice of yours. <laughs> oh, you. You two just work where you want, don't you? Well, put your options together and come up with something nice. Well, the discussion out of the way. Let's head home. Indeed. We are at this last... Indeed, we are at the last page of the Book of Time, too. Your Majesty. He backs in. Orlando will probably dumb it, double his punishment. Could you keep the scary stuff to a minimum? Jandy, that was terrible. Oh, you two worry about me more. Oh, just thinking about Orlando's punishment. Hmm. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm just going to kind of skip this. Stop! Not listening! Not listening! <laughs> okay, let's see. We're pretty much at the ending. Let's see how different this will be. I could see the curtain of the king's special stage to the other... Uh, I could see through the curtain of the day's special stage to the other side. Uh, um, sorry. My voice... Am mm. I, princess? Is something the matter? Your face seems a little pale. D don't worry about me. Thanks, Skeletana. But I knew my voice would ring, making me into letting out a bitter smile. Today was founding day, and I was on standby behind the, behind the stage. And up to me came the king, talking to me from behind, invisible in the mirror in front of me. Uh, no. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, it wasn't as a. It wasn't as a. I hate it when I do that. I hate doing that. Don't you just hate it when you are finished with the story and you don't need to do anything else? <laughs> oh, well. Look who I... <laughs> uh... Uh... Let me share with you the that I, that I got as a result. I... Once I get all the, the letters and the... And the other pictures, I think I'll show them to you. I don't mind showing off my, um... I'd like to show off my collection. That might be a while. But... I really look forward to sharing it with everyone. So, those were the... Nothing really different happened if you make a different if you make a choice it's pretty much the same which is which is kind of nice so the most interesting thing about this about this little event story is that we learn a little more we do learn a little more about the book of time as it was said in the Before We Met story, or Before We Met stories, the first chapter, everybody, rather if you're talking to Sunny, the Pale Ghost, the Great Wizard, or even the, the skeletal bird that's giving the princess even more instruction, instructions on how the Book of Time works, if you are inside the Book of Time, you are... Nobody can see you. You cannot interact. You cannot interact with anybody within the memory of the of the book of time. 
you're just there you're just there to witness it you're there to see how it all unfolded but then that special offer comes up during the before we met story events and I'm just noticing how the princess entered into the past or the book to say it was a lot different when she first opens up the book, she is... A wind blows her into the past. But when Isabella and Philip used the book, they... It's, it makes it sound like, well, there was a rushing wind. But at the same time, it sounds like that there was a... It sounds like that they fell through a hole. Kind of funny, huh? But there was something else I had wanted to mention. The image of the book was described to be shimmering and like crystal. And then everything that takes place in the event stories, they all make sense now. The princess is not, while she is in the past, I believe she's really inside of the book. And the special offer is just for, well, the, the purpose of the story. It's just to make it a little, it's to make the, it's to make it a little more special. While the book is allowing the princess to interact, interact with the people while inside of its very pages, the reason they don't remember her is because she is, she's not really rewriting, she's not rewriting the book's memory. It's just, it's staying the way it is. She can't while she's inside of the book to interact with everybody or whoever she comes across she cannot she can't change history because she's not really in the past she's in she's just in the book well that's just my theory but that makes it interesting doesn't it i, I didn't think a dating game would actually i didn't think a does anybody ever think that a dating game would have so much depth to it like uh, the Nivelheim does. <sighs> I think that's really all I have to say. It's. I think this was very. This was very rewarding, and it was. This was. The story was money well spent, and it was time well spent. No pun intended. <laughs> Well, I'll... I almost have enough points to get Sunny's... to pass through the love challenge in Sunny's story, so I'll see you in that next video. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I... My name is Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.